Okay, here we are, a lap of the Hockenheim ring in towards turn one. Maximize the entry by using all the track on the left-hand side and on the exit as well. You can use a lot of that exit curb before running up the hill towards turn two. Minimize your speed on the exit of this corner to open up turn four as much as possible because this is a nice long straight here, a chance to carry that momentum and a possible overtaking maneuver as well into this corner come race day. DRS and Kurz sees you down this straight towards a 100 meter board. Very tricky to get your braking right into this one because the track's so wide at that stage. Now on the exit, don't use too much of that curb. It will take away your traction before this flat out right hand corner. And then you bring it back to the right hand side, look to the left, turn eight coming up, slow it all down and keep the car to the left hand side of the track. So that opens up turn 10. Now use all of the exit curb available before the run down towards turn 12. Flick the car in, the track narrows up here at this stage as well so keep off that left hand side AstroTurf. Now down a couple of gears towards this left hand corner hairpin. Important not to use too much exit curb there as well, that will slow you down on this flat out section towards the penultimate corner turn 16. Don't use the left hand curb there, that will throw the car offline and then all of the exit curb and more and that's a lap of the Hockenheim ring. That's right, we are going to Hockenheim. 195 laps completed. 6 hours and 70 minutes spent on track. One podium, that's from last race. And it's time for qualifying here in Hockenheim. Objective is to be 14th. So let's see how high we can go. As you, okay, looks. Do you seriously think that? Here's my setup for this weekend. It's not really a thorough so setup, but. More like an online setup. Perfect for racing at least. And it feels really good. If there's one thing I could change is probably a little bit more downforce for this car. This setup works excellent with McLaren. So let's see how high we can finish. All right, here we go, first corner. Really tricky to get right because you can easily go too slow or, or, or cut the corner. Fucking Hulkenberg. What a fucking idiot. Already my fastest first sector, four tenths down on that one. Too slow. It's really hard to get that corner right with DRS open. One eighteen seven. It's a decent lap. I went one second faster in my McLaren. So that should be a pretty good benchmark. But it only should be. A little bit of heat into the tires, just keep the tire warm. Tires warm. 
Okay, there's Maldonado behind me. I should be okay. Okay, there is someone coming. I'm gonna let them go past here. It's Kovalainen. And Maldonado. And then there seems to be one more Russia there. And Holcombo who pretty much ruined my lap. And Senna also. And now I'm in a really bad spot. But I have to floor it right here. Oh, that went good. Two tenths faster already. I feel there should be one more gear here. Whoa! Okay, I broke a little bit too early on that one. Okay, I'm faster than Raikkonen. I think I don't even have to finish this lap. But I'm gonna anyway. Little bit faster. Only a little bit faster. Not much. And to be honest, one second or no. Nine tenths and actually you can do the math. Because my Time on prime time was one seventeen seven one seven on McLaren. So nine tenths and eighty five thousand of a second slower. Or let's just put it that way, I'm a second slower than my prime tire time, which was like over two seconds faster than anyone else. Yeah, I pretty much dominated this in my McLaren. And this is how you go to the pits here. It's really tempting to just floor it here, but then you just end up on the gravel. And that's not recommended. Okay, what flags we have? We have Italy, we have Great Britain, we had Germany over there somewhere. Yep, uh, Spain as well. Finland, anyone? No? Please? Nah. Wow. Almost three seconds faster than my teammate. On option tire. No, we don't need to. I'm three tenths faster than Hamilton. 119 even. And Perez is in trouble. Well, he's gonna move up there though. Oh, it's... No, it's... My teammate is going out soon. Am I still first? I am. Theoretical session best. 
179. I guess I really mastered the first second sector. All right, 187. That is the fastest time in this session. My teammate is out. So is Kovalainen, Petrov, Kart, uh, Pick, Clock, Delarosa, and Kartikeyan. One and a half seconds slower than me was my teammate. I remember I was using prime tires, he was going all out on option tires. That tells that I'm good at this track apparently. After I go and take a quick drink, let's continue. I think I just have to use one, do one lap and that's it. I think I have to just do one lap and that's it. Oh, I messed that up. Oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. Maybe a little bit faster. It should go. But it seemed perfect. And the sectors times the says the same. Let's see. Still can't nail that right. So I can probably go faster on that corner. Yeah, 118 even. That's um, 7 tenths faster than on Q2. I should be okay right now. So I'm just gonna go straight to the pits and that should be enough for me to get me into qualifying 3. Yeah, 8 tenths faster than Weber. That tells something. And that means I can have now 2 complete fresh sets into qualifying 3. Because I can still use this tire set and go faster if need to be. I'm just gonna put that to three, just in case I have to go out. But probably not. This might be the track where I get my first race win. There's, five minutes remaining in the session. There's a good chance for that one right now. Just by looking at the time. I mean, even, even my prime tire time is good enough to be in first right now. Great job, we're through to the shootout. Alright, so... <laughs> uh, qualifying three, I believe... Uh, Malaysia, um, Bahrain... Um, Canada... Valencia, Silverstone. This is my sixth appearance in qualifying. Oh, my teammates. So in qualifying three, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, out of ten, the race tracks where I wasn't in top of my on top of my head at least. Spain, Monaco, Australia. And I don't even know if China was one of them.
uh, maybe a little bit faster as well. One sixteen eight. That's a new first sec sector record for me. It was one as it was fifty three again, but it jumped back down. One seventeen two, and that's Paul Petition right there. That is pole petition right there. I'm not even gonna do any more laps. I'm not even gonna do any more laps. 1.1 second faster than Weber. And I still have a really good tire life on those tires. Alright, let's put this into a perspective. My Q1 time is sixth fastest. Take out my time from the first, just look at the nine AI cars. I would be sixth if I did my lap on prime tire in Q1. Five minutes left for this session. And that tells something. Session plus 117 even. Uh, to compare to this to my tr McLaren, um, I'm about a little bit over a second slower because I did 116 even in Q3. So I'm about second slower. Thank you. So, join me tomorrow when there's a chance I might get my first race victory. Unless Tim says I should move. Drop down the third so Mark Webber and Sebastian Vettel can get one too. Nah, 